This is a quote from Soren Kierkegaard's 1847 book, Works of Love, pages 22 through 24. The law is, therefore, you shall love yourself in the same way as you love your neighbor, when you love him as yourself. Whoever has any knowledge of people will certainly admit that just as he has often wished to be able to move them to relinquish self-love, he has also had to wish that it were possible to teach them to love themselves. When the bustler wastes his time and powers in the service of the feudal, inconsequential pursuits, is that not because he has not learned rightly to love himself? When the light-minded person throws himself almost like a non-entity into the folly of the moment and makes nothing of it, is this not because he does not know how to love himself rightly? When the depressed person desires to be rid of life, indeed of himself, is this not because he is unwilling to learn earnestly and rigorously to love himself? When someone surrenders to despair because the world or another person has faithlessly left him betrayed, what then is his fault? His innocent suffering is not referred to here, except not loving himself in the right way. When someone self-tormentingly thinks to do God a service by torturing himself, what is his sin except not willing to love himself in the right way? And if, alas, a person presumptuously lays violent hands upon himself, is not his sin precisely this, that he does not rightly love himself in the sense in which a person ought to love himself? Oh, there is a lot of talk in the world about treachery and faithlessness, and God help us, it is unfortunately all too true. But still, let us never, because of this, forget that the most dangerous traitor of all is the one every person has within himself this treachery whether it consists in selfishly loving oneself or consists in selfishly not willing to love oneself in the right way this treachery is admittedly a secret no cry is raised as it usually is in the case of treachery and faithlessness but is it not therefore all the more important that christianity's doctrine should be brought to mind again and again that a person shall love his neighbor as himself that is as he ought to love himself thanks for listening